Welcome back, my fellow aficionados. It's great to be back. Um, the plan uh, for this episode was to do an unboxing. Uh, I wanted to do the Ramon Alonis or Ionis. Um, but uh, I just want to cover uh, some questions and um, uh, so, some an issue that I came across. Uh, I don't want to bring it up right now because I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to break these up maybe a little bit shorter. Um, but um, but we'll get into what what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to explain uh, with these guys. Um, so the first question, um, Robert, uh, Hubbard, um, he was, uh, he also has a, a, uh, rabbit ear and, uh, we were just talking about, um, well, he was just commenting on, on how he gets away with, uh, smoking inside and, um, he was suggesting opening up, uh, two windows. So you have a cross, a cross breeze and, um, it, it uh, seems to have done um, the the trick for him, um, but uh, you know we we both agree like it, it's not you know a miracle unit, but it definitely does um, does help. So, um, but yeah, um, duly noted, my friend. Um, I, I I mean I I did <laughs> I did uh, on the weekend. Um, had, uh, four of my buddies here and we did have a, uh, an LGC, uh, Metal Dior number four, um, opening up the window and the fan and, and having the rabbit air running. Um, you know, it, it, it was, it, it's okay. You could still kind of, kind of smell it, but within a couple days, I mean, it, it's gone. It's so the unit works great. Uh, I have no complaints, but, um, but great question, Robert. Um, and welcome. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, I'm just trying a little format here with the fade in and out. <laughs> Try something different. Um, from, uh, and again, if I pronounce it wrong, I apologize. Uh, Kimona, Kimona. Uh, 922, um, would you be able to safely say that the prices of cigars in Cuba are fairly cheaper, um, or if it's not that much of a difference than the prices in other countries? Um, good, good question. Uh, the prices are cheaper, um, but the big, the big hit are the taxes, uh, especially where I am, they're they're ridiculous. Um, and that's where you're getting a big, big hit. And it's not just here. It's, I know it's in Australia and the UK and uh, it's happening all over, but that, that is the big, um, the big hit. But yes, to answer your question, are the, are the cigars uh, cheaper, um, in Cuba? Absolutely. Yes. Great question. All right. Next question. Um, again, from, uh, Kimona 922, um, do you pay any customs on the cigars, uh, when you travel back to Toronto, uh, or are, uh, or are there none since it's for personal consumption? Um, <clears throat> you're going to hear a lot of people say a lot of different things. Um, I will tell you from my experience uh, before it seemed like the rhetoric was 50 sticks, 56, 50 sticks per person. That was the max you can bring. Um, my last trip last year, uh, they didn't care how many cigars you got back, brought back. They were more concerned on the dollar value that you spent. And I believe it was $800 um, was the max and, uh, before you, you have to pay. And at that point, you know, chances are you're not going to hit that anyway, uh, unless you're buying, you know, reservas and, and, and stuff like that for the majority though. Um, 
but yeah, it, it's uh, it's funny that you say that because a lot of people will say, well, it's 50, 50 sticks per person. I'm not going to say 110% if that's the case. I'm just telling you from my last trip, um, they, they didn't care. Um, they just cared about the dollar value, which I wasn't even close to anyway. But regardless of the fact, uh, you know, if you had to pay duty on it, uh, you know, like I said, when, when I do stuff like that, I take into account, you have to take into account if, if you do get, uh, stopped, um, you know, you have to accept that as well. Uh, great question, sir. Next question. Uh, Brian, uh, rookie question. Uh, they're Cubans and now he, he's talking about the Edmundo, uh, Dantes. Um, uh, they're Cuban, they're Cuban cigars, uh, but they're from Mexico. Um, what's, what's the deal? Um, the way the regionals work, um, the cigars are still made in Cuba. It's not that it says, you know, it's a Mexico release and they're made in Mexico. Um, they're, they're still made in Cuba, but, um, they're made solely for that country or region, um, example, like the Asia Pacifico or something like they, they, they group a bunch of, uh, uh, countries, but, uh, they do come out with individual, uh, countries as well. So yeah, to answer your question, simply they, they are still made in Cuba. Then they're sent to the respective, uh, countries or, um, that they're made for, uh, good question. Uh, Okay, the next question uh, comes from Jamie Wise, um, and he was commenting on the SD DuPont, the uh, Line 8, and um, somebody posted that it was a fake. Um, he responded, you know, definitely not a fake, and, and he's a fan of the lighter, um, and loves it. And we were just chatting back and forth. And you know what? I have nothing bad to say about this thing. Um, excellent lighter. The, if I had to be picky on anything, I would say the size. Um, and I know it was made specifically for this size. It's just, I don't have the smallest hands in the world. So, um, yeah, it, it is a little small, but, and again, you know, hence why, you know, I, I have, um, uh, the line two, I mean, it's a vintage, uh, I believe it's a 94, but, um, as you can see, I don't know if I can, you know, just, just that little bit, not so much in the width, but just on the size, you know, it, it's just that little bit that just fits your hand perfect but this thing i absolutely love it i'm with you uh jamie and i hope you get one eventually um never had an issue and it's it's a great great lighter um but yeah i hope you get one uh, hope you get one soon sir okay so that's it for the questions uh stay tuned uh I'll keep rolling um, and bring up some other uh, items and topics. So, as always, please hit like, subscribe, share, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Cheers.